Hello fellow rabbit fanciers, razors, lovers of fur, and not wasting this beautiful fur. Um, it's Kirsten from Mountain Harvest Rabbitry. I'm going to talk to you today about two different tanning methods that I have now tried. This beauty of a Champagne d'Argent I tanned last year. This is a shadow from a plant, it's not dirt. Um, tanned her last year. It was about five months old and I used a natural method which was the twist on brain tanning. I didn't have the brain, my dog ate the head so I had soap and olive oil. Um, you can also use soy lecithin or eggs and it'll do the same thing the, as the, um, the fats in the brain. So this hide, um, it was fleshed right off the rabbit dried um, to just damp. Um, my soap oil mixture was applied. Once it was soaked in and starting to dry, um, you do a pinch test or a pull test. When it turns white, you start breaking it and stretching it. It's supposed to be finished with a smoke. I have not smoked this baby yet. I don't think I'll get around to smoking it, so I think this is as good as it's going to get for this natural tanned hide. Now this one took me about five hours to break. Um, long time. It wasn't continuous. I have multiple kids so life gets in the way of sitting down and doing something for more than 15 minutes. So um, you know it was a put, a, put a damp cloth on it while I couldn't work it and then get back to it when I could sort of thing. But altogether it took about five hours to get to dry and broken and pliable and drapey and super soft. Now this Rex I just did. It too was um, flushed right off of the rabbit um, after I harvested it. <clears throat> he as well was about five months old. Um, it was then salted after flushed uh, till it was dry and then I put it in a salt and alum pickle for um, well, it was probably in there for two and a half weeks. It really only needs to be in there for a week, but once again, life gets in the way. Uh, it was stirred three times a day in the pickle um, of four ounces of alum to a pound of salt um, and a gallon of water. And then it was taken out, neutralized in a couple tablespoons of baking soda and a gallon of water for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I shampooed it with mane and tail shampoo um, dried it as well as I did this one, uh, waited till it was just damp on the skin side. And instead of using a natural tan though on this one, I used a product called Liquitan. Now I got this paint on Liquitan from Halford's Hide in Alberta. Um, we're limited where we can get supplies here in Canada, so it was about $56 for this. I think it's a quart jar and it will do a lot of hides. Um, you just paint a thin layer on it. I folded it in half after it was applied, um, left it, came back uh, and broke it. And it literally took, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes total of playing with it to get to this soft, drapey, beautiful feel all together. Um, so it's quite a bit of difference in breaking time the natural tan as opposed to the chemical paint on tan. So if you're wanting to save elbow time, um, pain, frustration, <laughs> covering your hide until you get time to work it again, I definitely suggest a paint on tan. Now this product in particular, uh, Liquitan, it, it has a partner uh, called Liqui Soft that I did not purchase at the same time, so I'm waiting for that to come in the mail. You apply that um, about 8 to 12 hours after you apply the liquid tan, I believe. Um, but not, you don't want it dry on there. You want it still damp as well. And then you apply that. Uh, and then you break it when it's ready to break. This does not have it. And I am super happy with the results of just the tan. So I'm really excited to see how it'll be with the liquid soft as well. Um, the fur quality in both is just phenomenal. Of course, these are both beautiful fur breeds as well as for meat. Um, because they were older rabbits, they're a bit thicker of, of leather. Um, this little buck, he was a bit more thicker in the shoulders even. I cut pieces off of here. She had started to, to um, molt, so part of her skin was a little bit more black. So I cut pieces off of her 
as well as with the uh, frustrating method of tanning or breaking this hide um, pieces get more ripped because you have to be a little bit more aggressive I would say with t uh, breaking the natural tanned hides as opposed to this this was literally just two hands and stretch and it was white and broken so there we have it the two natural versus chemical the differences is a few hours of uh, elbow grease both beautiful hides so be turned into something absolutely gorgeous here in no time soon. Thanks for watching.